The worst kind of MMM you can have is an unstable model, where one week of data changes the whole story. Let's say last week you updated your MMM and it said meta prospecting was a 5.5x ROI outperforming every other channel. You told your director that filtered up to the board and you increased your spend into that channel. You add seven days of data and now the model is saying it's only a 1.2x. The rug got pulled out from under you and you dealt out what's right. Was the model last week correct or is the model this week correct? Did you do the right thing or did you waste a lot of money? You don't know. Because it's impossible to make decision when the model changes like that, we think that model stability is the most overlooked metric in media mix modeling. Here's how we calculate it at Recast. So what we look at is the overlap in the distributions. So we take the interquartile range for everything that touches the model's prediction. So the impact that we're attributing to Facebook, to the intercept, to Spice, whatever it might be. And so what we calculate is the overlap of that range from week to week. And we weight it by the amount of impact. So if Facebook has 10x the impact of podcast, it's going to be 10x as important in our final stability number. And we weighted average all of those numbers together, how much they overlap from one week to the next. And our target is 85% plus. Now, above 85%, the models are going to look very, very similar. And we don't want them to be 100% because we do want the model to large. Below about 78 or so percent, stakeholders are going to notice the difference, and so we target a higher number than that. If you're not measuring stability or even accounting for it, it's likely that you're optimizing and gets noise, not real signal. And unstable models don't just waste budget, they kill trust. 